Cauldron Tower, also known as the Repair Bay, an area filled with three puzzle rooms and a boss fight at the end. The three puzzle rooms all take a long time to finish. As you may know, however, speedrunners aren't really a fan of slow rooms. But could they really have come up with anything already? The game has been out for less than two months after all. Well, let me take you on the journey of how speedrunners completely destroyed Cauldron Town. I hope you enjoy. I'm currently standing in Cauldron Tower's first puzzle room. The intended way of going through is standing on that platform, which will slow down those spinning platforms, after which you will need to shoot the little thingies when they light up. Of course, this would be too easy and slow. On the 23rd of February, only 5 days after the game released, a runner named B.5 would post this video, showing a method of skipping directly to the top of the room. This skip was however quite difficult to perform, taking multiple precise jumps and a janky stationary wall jump. 22 days later, BDOT would post another video of a slightly easier and slightly faster version of the skip. Some runners have also opted to use a different version of the skip shown here. This skip is still quite difficult and can be a bit janky at some spots, but it saves over a minute if done quickly, which is a lot of time. Let's move on to room 2. The intended way is to go left, climb across, then go entirely across the room and finally climb up on the right to override the node. On the same day as the original Room 1 skip, BDOT would post a video of the original Room 2 skip done like this. By jumping and gliding across, you can reach the other side, after which you can jump across and climb up on the right. Since then, the skip has been made slightly faster by gliding directly to the right. Let's go on to Room 3. The intended way here is to jump down to there, climb up the vents, then ride one of those weird flying things to go across and reach the override node. Now, I want you to take a guess as to who discovered a skip for this room and when. If you guessed B Dud on the 23rd, you'd be right. On the same day as the two other skips, B Dud would also post a skip for the third room. Now, the original version of this skip was extremely inconsistent, as it required jumping onto one of these flying things, like then jumping to the other side, side, and hoping, uh, um, hoping that Aloy would climb up on the other side. Luckily, this skip wasn't really used in runs at all, as two days later, on the 25th, B. Dot would post an improved version of this skip. By jumping and gliding over to this purple gable, and then simply jumping up, you can quickly and fairly safely reach the override node. And that is how speedrunners made Cauldron Town go from very slow climbing and waiting heavy rooms, to rooms that are very quick to complete, assuming you don't mess up. Thank you very much for watching this video, there will be some relevant links in the description as usual. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Goodbye! We'll slow down those spinning things, after which you will need to sl 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 sl